but it's about the right zoomed inness. Let's see, where are we? That's too much. That's not enough. Okay, you're going to have to see a bit of the side of my desk, I think. Um, oh, bear with. Oh, dear. One of those mornings today. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Oh, right, sorry everybody, just bear with a second. Uh, where are we up to then? Is it about here? Yeah, okay, right. Just want to see where my work area is. Okay, I think that's about right. Oh, no. Apologies for the zooming in and zooming out and all the rest of it. It's just very difficult to get it all right. Hi everyone, hi everyone. I'm just going to bring this one in for now. This is not what we're making today. But I'm just bringing it in so I can see roughly how much space we have. Okay, yeah, that's about right, I think, probably. Let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, just bear with while I get my... We're still waiting for people to come in anyway, so let me just... Um, just going to make this, move up it. So we're not doing this one today, because I did, I did the tutorial for this over the weekend. But I just wanted to bring it in anyway, just because it's based off of this. Um, and also, these are the new Antonio Makes papers. Hooray! So we've got Antonio mm. Makes has brought out um, and some more digital kits. He's brought out an Autumn's kit and three Christmas kits. And obviously, the new VIP kit has gone live um, to VIP members. And the new VIP kit, he's actually brought two kits out for VIPs this month. So if you're a VIP, if you want to subscribe to his... Um, to his VIP uh, subscription, that doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. If you want to subscribe to that, then um, go, go over to www.antoniomakes.com. Make sure you use my code Louise10, which will get you 10% off. So instead of it being £45 for the year, it'll be £40.50. And, um, and you will get two kits this year, this year, this month from him, from the VIP um hi everybody hi retro uh, rita retro inked fingers um karen reeves and jay bros and one so hi everybody that's here so far and everybody else who hasn't commented say hello um hi cindy hi deborah uh yep so yeah so head over to antonia makes the papers i'm using today are also mm -hmm. from his new kit um from the christmas I'm going to quickly show you actually the uh, the new the ones that are open for everybody. You don't have to be a, a member, a subscriber, a VIP person, as it were. So in here we have let me get to the right bit. So these are the new autumn papers that he's got out. So he's got this one. This is part of the autumn section. So we've got some leaves and some bits and bobs. I'm actually going to do a video with all this on, but I thought I'd just give you a quick peek while I was here, since I'm using the papers. So these would be quite good for men's cards, I was thinking. Um, this one I'm using today, and I'm teaming it up with this one, which is part of the sunflowers. This is all the autumn stuff. Um, this one, I might cut these out. I might not. We'll see whether I can be bothered to cut out um, things. And then there's this one, which I almost used. And then for Christmas... He's got, there are more than this. I'm just showing you some because I didn't print them all off. Um, so they've got Christmas presents. This is that Ponsettia paper that I've used for this card here. And I really like this card. Oh my, this, these papers, they're just so beautiful. And they actually go quite well with these papers as well. Um, so that's, this is all in the Christmas kit. This is the one I'm going to be using today. I love this so much. This one I've actually just filmed a video for, which will go live um, at some point, probably Sunday actually. And then he's also got this Silent Night um, pack, which is part of the Christmas. There's three different Christmas ones. There's a, like a traditional, like a vintagey one. There's this one, and then there's the Silent Night. But I think those two go well together. So I've actually used those together on a card. You got this, and then you've got these bows and bits and bobs and these. There's loads more in the kit. I've just printed off a little bit of it just so that then I could use, you know, start making stuff. So, yeah, so the card we're actually making today is based off of this one. 
So this is very, this is basically, I did this, I made this because I kept seeing people making the full hexagonal where it actually continues around the back and you've got the pop-up bit in the middle. And I have actually made one similar to those that you're seeing online at the moment. And I've got a video for it and I'm actually going to remake that video because it seems that these are quite popular. And also because I'm going back and remaking some of my shocking videos from way back in time when I first started filming and didn't know what I was doing. So... <laughs> I still don't know what I'm doing, but, you know, we've polished a little bit. Um, so, yeah, so I've, um, I've, I've I've sort of made this card up, basically. This is my own, you know, version. And then it got me thinking, hmm, what else could we do with this card? And so we have the framed half hexagonal pop-up box card. So this is the one that we're going to be doing today. So this obviously stands up again like this. Um, and then, yeah. And then it's just, you've got so, so much to write on the back. If you want to, you could put pattern paper on here as well. I haven't done. Um, but yeah, so this is the card we're going to be doing today. So it's very similar. I'm sure you can probably figure out bits of what we're doing. Um, I did tweak it slightly because these sides I was going to do slightly differently. But um, And also on the card I'm doing today, I'm not making the bottom bigger than the top. So the top and bottom will be the same size. This is my like, prototype sample. Um so it's going to get tweaked a little bit today. Uh, but yeah, it's it's quite nice. And obviously it folds flat. So you just have to post, you know, flat like that. And it will fold flat. And that fits in a six by six. So it's really nice and easy. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. But I loved these papers. Oh my goodness. When I saw them on, you know, when I looked on the kit, I was like, oh, they are so nice. With a bit of rose gold. It's a bit different as well for Christmas. Bit of a different colour. So yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Right, let me catch up with some comments. So yes, the papers are really pretty. Um, Cindy, you asked um, for pink, purple and blue papers. Yeah, he really likes blue. He's not a big fan of pink, but I have noticed he has done some pink. Um, but yeah, please do, you know, sort of, you know, let him know what you like because he is, <clears throat> he's has asked me for feedback as well. Um, yeah, I really like this card actually. It's really, <laughs> I'm quite pleased with it. Um, Sally, yes, I'm glad you managed to get here on the live. That's good. Sparkly lady, hi from a drizzly old Wiltshire. Yes, it, it's, it's grey here. It hasn't actually started raining yet, but it is grey. Um, I might have to dash off in a minute because I'm waiting for a parcel to arrive. I've just seen a big white van pull up and that could be my parcel. When they said they were coming today, I was like, at this time, I was like, why do you have to come now? Because I'm literally... Like, why can you not come before I do my live stream, not after? So if I suddenly... Oh, yeah. So I'm going to have to quickly run off. So I'm just going to leave this here for a second. I've got to quickly go and answer the door because my DHL parcel has arrived. So bear with me. I'll be back in a second. Talk amongst yourselves on the chat. <laughs> Right, I'm back. Sorry about that. It's difficult, isn't it? Whenever you want to do a live stream, that's when the parcels decide to come. Right, anyway, I'm back. So, so yeah, so this is the card we're going to be doing today. So I shall just show you what we need. Um, so it's very similar to the other card. So let's just put that to one side. So I'll go through all the mats and layers in a bit because there are quite a few little bits and bobs. But we'll start with the base pieces. So for the base pieces, you're going to need two pieces that are one and a half by 12 inches. If you haven't got 12 inches and you've only got the length of an A4 or you've got 11 and three quarters or even 11 and a half, that's fine. As long as you've got one and a half high and then by about 11 and a half, I wouldn't go any less than 11 and a half, but um, yeah, you don't have to do 12. So you need two of those. You also need one that is four by six and one that is five and three quarters by six. The four by six, we don't need just yet. So I'm going to put that to one side and I'm just going to bring in my scoreboard. I'm going to bring my scoreboard in. I need to find my score tool. 
because I was using it a minute ago to make another card. Oh, dear me. And now it's gone walkies. Let me see if I can find it. What have I done with it? I don't feel very organised today, people, I have to say. What have I done with my score? Oh, there it is. It's tucked down by the side of my guillotine. Because that's useful. Right, okay. So. Okay, so the 6 by 4 can go away. Right, so let's start with the strips. So the two strips that are two one and a half inches by as you can see mine's like about 11 and three quarters oh let me bring it in a bit down a bit because you can't see there we go so the two strips that are um one and a half high by as i say mine is 11 three quarters but you can go 12. you want to score both of them at two inches at three inches at five inches seven inches nine inches and ten inches so it's literally the same score lines as we did before um, for the other cards so i'm going to do the same with this one so two inches three inches five inches seven inches nine inches and ten inches okay so that's your two strips done so put those to one side and then we're going to bring in the other piece that was five and three quarter by six. And along the five and three quarter edge, you're going to score at seven eighths and at four and seven eighths. OK, so that is that piece done. So we can put our scoreboard away now. OK, so um, if we just start with this one, so this is the five and three quarter by six. We're just going to fold both of those so they're base, basically both valley folds. So both of those end up being valley folds, like that. I've got bits of glue on my desk from a previous card. Okay, so that gives you that. So if you look from the top view, that's what it looks like from the top. Okay, so we need to put that to one side for now and then come back to our strips so our strips just need mountain folding so you mountain fold all of your folds okay so if i start moving things around a bit it's just because i'm right-handed and i like to be able to fold from the right so i'm just going to go ahead and fold these up and i'll sure have a look at some comments while i'm folding uh is it rough in margate okay <laughs> Is it just is it wet and windy and a bit horrible? I presume that's what it is. It's a bit grey and dreary here, I have to say. It is a bit grey and dreary. It's not raining here yet though. I think that's going to be coming soon. But at the moment it's not. Hi um Karen in New York. Um what's the weather like in New York? Is it I went to New York once and it was was it March it was March time and it was really quite warm. I was quite surprised. No, it wasn't. No, it was September time. It was September time I came to New York because it was, um, yeah, it was September time, I remember. And it was really quite warm. I was quite surprised. Right, let me mountain fold all of these. Okay, so that's us mountain folded. So you've got two strips that look like that, basically. So let me put my score tool away because I don't need that now. Right, so let's start with the least complicated, which is this piece here. I know I keep switching in and out, but I just find it easier to kind of fold everything. And then we're going to now do matte layers. Right, so for this, you are going to need, let me get all my little pieces ready, because there's quite a lot of them. I need to not lose that piece of acetate. Right, okay, so you're going to need two matte layers that are three and three quarters by five and three quarters then you need one pattern piece that's three and a half by five and a half so that's what i've got here and that's going to go in there like that your other piece of mat you need a white piece of card that's three and a half by five and a half and that is going to be the piece that goes onto this um four by six in a minute um and that's going to go on the back of your card like we did with the other card that we did on saturday 
So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm just going to stick this down onto here and I'm going to go ahead and stick the white one onto the 4x6. Um, right, let's look at the comments while I'm doing that. Storm Ian has been stalled here the past few days, windies and rain. Okay, I really hope you guys don't get Storm Ian. Um, I really do. I know of um, a guy who lives in Florida and he's posted some pictures and, oh my goodness, it's horrendous. Like, wow, it's one of the worst that they've seen. Um, so I'm hoping it's not, you know, you don't get it too bad. Uh... Yes, I'm not normally a green person either, I have to say. Saying about not being a green person, I'm not normally a green person. I don't really like using green on cards. A um, little bits here and there, fine, but I'm not really... But I thought it went with the leaves and the sunflowers and the foliage. And the gold kind of splits it up a little bit, so it's a bit less in your face. So that's that one. Let's do this one. So that's why I thought I would do... Do a bit of a green thing. So, oh dear, Karen, that doesn't sound good. That Ian's stuck on Long Island. That's not good at all. I do hope it passes over soon. Hopefully, the weather fronts will change and it will move along. Yeah, well, I hope it moves. I really do hope it moves out soon because it doesn't look like a good storm. I mean, no storms are good, but they vary, don't they? <laughs> Some are less ferocious than others. So, oh, that's a daisy. Stick this down. Okay, so there we go. So that's, um, that's that stuck down. So I can put this to one side for now because we'll need that in a bit, but not quite yet. Mm -hmm. um, and the same, oh, and then so this with this one as well, on the inside bits here, you need two long pieces, and these are three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters, and they're just going to go on the inside bit there. If you want to do pattern papers, you can. I just used gold, and then I embossed it with a Sheena, um, it was this one, a Sheena Douglas embossing folder, basically. This is the one I used. Um, so I'm going to, I'm just going to stick these down. Right, let me just stick these down, these pieces. There we go. There, that's better. Yes, thank you. The um, I wasn't sure, as I said, whether I was going to use pattern on those on these little skinny bits, but then I was like, I don't know if I want to cut out because it would be super skinny, it'd be like half an inch, it'd be super duper skinny. So I just thought, let me not do that. Let me just uh, emboss the gold. This is the same gold that I've used for my mat, and then I've just uh, embossed it just to give it a bit of interest. And I tried to choose a folder that a embossing folder that kind of went with the pattern, the pattern paper. So that's why I've gone for the flowers. Okay. So that is that piece done. So we can put that to one side now because that's pretty much done. We will be doing these bits here in a minute, but only sections of it. So we need to do that after we've put the whole thing together. So if you bring your strips back in again and you lay them down so that they're like mountain folds. So let me just flatten them out a little bit, but mountain folds. Um, what we're going to do is these two outside squares here and here we don't need to put anything on those okay so they just need to be left alone you're only putting panels on the middle five pieces and the same with this one here so you will need for this quite a lot of pieces you're going to need she says looking at her little list of things you're going to need six pieces of mat that are one and a quarter by one and three quarter and on top of those, you need six pattern pieces that are one inch by one and a half. And then you need four pieces that are of mat that are seven eighths by one and a quarter. And the pattern is three quarters of an inch by one inch. OK, and these go. So we've got the tartan here. The skinny bits are going to go here and here and here and here. And then all these pieces all go in amongst here. Like that. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and stick these down. I'm just wondering if I've, because it's tartan, it'd be nice if the tartan carried on, but I'm afraid mine doesn't. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but it doesn't. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick them down, basically. Um, you only use gold at Christmas. You see, it's funny because I actually use gold, oh, green at Christmas. Sorry, I don't know why I read that as gold. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't use, I just don't use gold very often. Uh, gold. <sighs> Start that again. I don't use green very often either at any time of the year. But yeah, I think Christmas is probably the most likelihood of me using using it and um, also with these little rectangular ones if you want to change your measurements you can i just didn't want to go too narrow with it which is why it's you haven't got the same border top and bottom uh, you know top and bottom left and right it's all top and bottom is the same but left and right is different um so if you want to change the measurements of these side panels please go ahead and do so my as i said my check is not going to marry up but whatever it's just the way it goes because i didn't do it that way i should probably have used glue to be honest with you but um because i'm using miri that's why i didn't want to use glue uh because i've got that yoohoo and it takes the if you get it onto the miri it takes the layer off it um the finish not the layer you know what i mean my brain's not working today. Can you tell? Now, as I said, this is going to upset me because this is not this check is not working. But anyway, it's not in line with each other. But anyway, never mind. Ho hum. We will just plod on anyway. I'm sure I've got lots of news to be telling you, but I don't know what it is that I need to tell you. Um, yep, I don't know. My brain's not working very well today. Right, so that's that one done. Let's do this one as well. See, so with um, Sparky Lady, with tape, I find if I do this, if I um, peel back the corners like that, peel back the corners like this, and then turn it over and then you know this bit here is not sticky so then you can line it up using the non-sticky bit and then when you're happy it's lined up you just press the top bit where the sticky is and stick it down so that's why because i used to stick my you know mine used to go everywhere with tape um i try not to uh peel all of it off if you peel it all off in one go then um it's a bit of a nightmare so yeah, so again here I've done little wings again on the tape. Um, if it's a big a big rectangle that I'm sticking down, I will do opposite corners. I'll open up, peel the backing off the opposite corners, and then stick it down. Um, what else are we saying in the chat? Cindy, how do you decide what papers to put together? Yes, I also have the hardest time putting papers together. I have to say, that takes me the most amount of time. Um, usually making the card doesn't take that much time compared to trying to decide what pa papers to use. It depends on what I'm doing, if I'm honest. So if, for example, I've got commission work, I've got papers I've been sent that I need to use, then I will start with the paper and then work into what I want the mat to be, what I want the base to be, and do it that way. And I'll usually start with one paper and then work kind of off that. So with this card, I really wanted to use those that butterfly sunflower paper and so um, because of that I started with that and then I knew that I had to use a green base uh, and then off the back of that I then knew that I needed to do some other colour in between the two uh, to kind of you know sort of space it out a bit as it were um, and then with the green I just was like, oh, actually, if I'm using that that card, then that green um, that green base card goes really well with it. So I'll show you that. And so that's how I managed to get to the to this one. So that's what I tend to do. It really depends on what I'm doing. If I'm putting um, 
if I am, my brain's not working, so you have to bear with me. If I am putting uh, together a card and I've got an embellishment or a topper that I'm starting with, then I'll start with the topper, look at what colours are in the topper, and then I'll work backwards from there. So what papers have I got that goes with the topper, etc. If I've got a die cut, maybe it's something with flowers on it, then I'll have a look and see what have I got, you know, that works. The other way around, I then sometimes do it, is sometimes I'll start with a card fold and I know there are certain papers that lend themselves to that particular card fold. So that's another way I do it. So there's different ways, to be honest with you. Right. So. Huh, take a deep breath. Um, let's read some things. Uh, putting papers and colours together mm -hmm. is a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have that problem. Um, yeah, Spiky Lady, getting collections is a good idea. Sorry, Karen, getting collections so they all mix and match, that's a good idea. Um, and again, I find like with the paper boutique paper pads, I find that's really helpful because, you know, they all go together. Um, and even like when you get, you know, paper pads that kind of all... This is why I used to really love Dovecraft collections because they would do everything. They'd do the embellishments, they'd do... You know, the buttons, the butterflies, the toppers, the decoupage, the pattern papers, everything would go together. So it was really easy to put things together. So I miss, you know, them doing that kind of thing. Um, right. OK, so let's get back to the card. So once you've done that, you then want to bring your um, this piece back in again, your back piece. And what we're going to do is we're just going to turn this. We're going to start with the top. So we're going to turn these round like that. In fact, let me put one of them out of the way. Start with the top. Turn this round so that's also facing downwards. So both of them are facing downwards. And what you want to do is you're going to put it so that you've got... So you've got a score line, a score line, and a score line, and a score line. Okay? So you want the two end score lines. You want to put it so it's central, basically. So I've got a little bit of a gap between the edge of this card and that score line, and I've got an equal amount of gap between this card and that score line. Because what we're going to do is we're going to stick this and this onto here. So we're going to fold it along that score line there like that and stick it down. And when you stick it, you just need to make sure that, that score line lines up with this score line. If it doesn't, so this is slightly out, then you just need to shimmy it in. And the same on this side. Just make sure that it fits. Um, and for this, I would use either a wet glue or a red tape, but I prefer to use wet glue for this one. And I'm just going to get some more glue, wet glue, because my tube is pretty much finished and it makes it really difficult to squeeze it out. I'm going to quickly get some more glue. Oh, and they keep sending these little tubes of glue and it would have been better if they did the big ones. But anyway, they don't. So there we go. Right. So let's start with a new one. So let's stick this down. So we're going to go ahead. The only thing I need to watch out for with this is it doesn't splurge out the outside and stick places it doesn't want to stick. It shouldn't be sticking. So I'm going to go ahead and add glue on here. You are best to use wet glue for this, I have to say, because with red tape, you do need a bit of wiggle room. Okay, so we're going to pull this over like, oh, I've just moved that. Pull this over, make that like that. Yep, that works. So I've managed to make it so this score line lines up with this score line. So I'm just going to stick that down like that. And then we're going to do the same on this side. Just need to make sure that it's, oh, it's nice and level. Yes, it is. Good. Right. Okay. Let's just stick this side down and I shall have another look at comments in a moment. Let's stick this bit down here like this. Uh, right, the lenticular card I did have a look at and I was like, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Is all I can say. I, 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 it's still on my list. It hasn't come off the list. It hasn't been disregarded but it's a hmm uh it is a bit of a there's different ways of doing it but it is a bit of a, a feat so leave it with me it may or may not come to fruition <laughs> i don't know yet right okay so when you stuck your top down you should end up with that if we turn it round, if you can just I just need to make something stuck but just give it a bit of a tweak you should find that because you've ma made your score lines marry up 
that it works fine okay but do just double check it and this is another reason why i would use um why i would use uh wet glue and then just make sure as well that it folds flat so we're now going to do the same one the same again with this one so we're going to take our piece our strip lay it on make sure that bottom edge lines up with the bottom edge of your strip make sure that it's central left and right your score line is just like the gap there is the same as the gap there fold that across make sure that the um the score lines line up so this line here lines up with this line here and the same here and when you're happy that they line up and everything's fine you can go ahead and stick these down just like you did before uh hi susie from illinois watching while you're at work cool as long as your boss doesn't mind that's great <laughs> um i mean if you're working from home it doesn't matter does it right let's stick this down need to make sure my lines line up okay that's that one there and then we're going to do this side here Okay, so that's that bit, like that, and then we're just going to fold this over, make sure it all lines up, just let it dry. Karen, what's a lenticular card? Hmm, that's a hard one to explain. It's basically, so, it's like in lines, and when you look at it from one side, you see one image, and when you look at it from the other side, you see another image basically that's kind of like a lenticular card um if you google it then that's probably the best thing to do because then you'll get google images and it'll make it more it's difficult to explain just in words if i'm honest okay so there we go so i've stuck the bottom one down so just flip it over and just give it a crease and yep that's fine so that works well so that's your beginning of your card so that's that and then what we're going to do is just going to go ahead and stick the back panel on. Okay, so let's put it fluff again. So this birthday wishes six by four, that is going straight over the back like that. Okay, so you're just going to stick it straight over the top like that. Make sure you don't use too thick card, otherwise you end up with like a bit of a dip here where you've got no card. Um, I'm going to use normal tape for this, I think, because I want it to stick straight away. I don't want it to just pop off. And also I have a feeling that where I've got that gap in the middle, I could end up with it, um, I could end up with it causing troubles. So we're going to go for normal tape for this. And I can show you what I mean about taking off the corners, sticking down, you know, with tape so you don't end up with a whole sticky load of card that they can then get in the way. Yes, Karen, an aquarium card, that would be very good. In fact, you wouldn't even necessarily, oh yeah, you could do an ass tape front actually, yeah, you could. Yeah, you could um, put a bit of thing in the middle. So this is what I do when I'm using tape with rectangles. I do one in the middle like that and I take that off and then I just do opposite corners. So I'm doing this corner here, so those two edges, and then I follow a diagonal line and I do the opposite corners like this. Oh, as you say, I was trying to peel off the... There we go. There we go. And I just fold them back like that. And then we just need to make sure it's definitely the right way up. It's definitely the right way up. And then I know these two corners aren't sticky. So because these two corners aren't sticky, I'm going to lay those two corners down on there like that to get it all straight and nice. And then press down on the corners you know are sticky. And you just literally just peel that and peel that, stick that side down. And the same on this side just makes it a lot easier for positioning okay so that's that now one thing we also need to do is do this bit here so for these two bits you need two pieces and i've just used mat and these are three quarters of an inch by two and three quarters and they're literally going to go on there like that if you wanted to use pattern you could if you wanted to do mat and pattern you could i just didn't want to go uh too much Yeah, Karen, with the uh, um, the acetate, I think it would look nice as in it would make it more like an aquarium. You could do it so your fishies are actually just on acetate strips if you didn't want to 
because I always worry about that sort of thing with um with whether the acetate's going to fold properly or not. So um, but yeah, I definitely think it, it would definitely look good. It would be a good if it if it you know turns out well then maybe just using a less um not quite so thick a thin that's what i'm looking for a thinner acetate dear me my words are not coming out today right let me just oh. peel these off stick this down in the middle there. Okay, so that's so that's the back. So that's the back done. So let's turn it over to the front and just pop it up so that it's the way it should be. So that's how it should. Oops, sorry. That's how it should be from the top, and then that's from the front. So now we need to get. Now again, you can do what you want with this. If you wanted to, you could have something hanging. You could have something hanging and spinning. You could do a piece of acetate that goes across the front and has the same folds as this back piece and just attaches so when you pop it up it kind of bows you know you could do it like that um but i decided to use a piece of acetate that is basically five and three quarters by half an inch and i'm going to put it and you probably can't see it on here but i'm going to put it underneath here like that just in the center and then i'm going to stick my greeting over the top of it now, it doesn't mean I can see it because I haven't used because on the other one I actually just used I mean you can still see it on here particularly but um I've just used this is literally not on anything so you know but on this one because this is a bit too flimsy I decided to mount it onto acetate just so that I've got you know a bit of a, a bit of support so I'm going to use a bit of red tape and what I'm going to do is lay this nice and flat take my acetate put it over the top just so I can see where I need to put my, my red tape. And then we're going to cut the red tape to fit. So we need one at the top there. So let's just lay this flat again. Like that. So I need one. Actually, I'll start from the bottom. One at the bottom there. Like that. And then I just need to go a little bit less on the red tape on the top. About there, I reckon. Okay, I'm going to turn this around because I'm right-handed. <clears throat> so that's going to go there like that. This is going to go on here like that. Okay, so now I'm going to peel off the backing off one end. And I'm going to tuck this in and get it so that it's central and so that it's almost popping out the bottom but not quite and then when i'm happy with where it is i'm going to hold this bottom bit in place tuck that bottom bit under and stick it down now it doesn't look that doesn't look like it's central it's difficult with the um it's difficult with the check just throwing my eye out a little bit i think that's straight pretty much so that's that bit there and then i can pop this bit forward Take the tape off, pull it back under, fold the whole lot flat. Okay, that's slightly wonky. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Oh, now the problem's going to be, <laughs> the problem's going to be sticking this on because you're going to be able to see it. I hadn't thought about that bit. Okay, so. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Had not thought about this bit. right this could be a problem <coughs> so what we might have to do i might have to make that a, so you can see it because if i put glue on the back of there i'm going to be able to see the tape oh dear unless i add a little bit of craft glue onto the back of the lettering <coughs> Apologies for me clearing my throat. I've got a frog in my throat. If anybody's got any other suggestions, please let me know. I'm going to have a quick drink of water. What do I think about this? I think I might have to use craft glue. 
that's very annoying because that would look really good if I just had it floating but if I stick tape on that you're going to see it okay so I'm going to have to use um, some Dovecraft craft glue so let's take this out let me just clear my nozzle a little bit hi Pat from Alabama bear with I'm having a moment I'm having a bit of a difficulty nozzles all blocked as well which doesn't help matters <coughs> really do with not having a blocked nozzle right now oh that's really blocked gosh i thought these nozzles were supposed to not block but these do block it seems okay let's see how we go <clears throat> yeah i'm gonna try so hide your DC behind the P and the H, yeah, that's what I'm going to have to try and do. It's just, what's annoying is the fact that I am uh, I do struggle a little bit with these nozzles, so they don't actually come out as well as I would like them to. But we will try our best. Don't ask me why the thing's coming out blue. The glue's coming out blue. It does on here. I think some reaction between the glue and the nozzle, I think. Oh, it's got stuck again. Just squeeze it off to one side. Oh. Let me just clear my, see if I can clear this nozzle out a bit. Okay. I'm doing it away from my project in, some, in case it suddenly does a splurge, which I feel like it might do. So let's just squidge it off to one side and then stick it on. There we go. Right, it's literally hanging on from the P and the H. So let's hope it hangs on. <coughs> Okay, so let's turn this over, find my P and my H, there we go, like that, and then I'm going to, oh, oh no, don't move it around, like that, okay, I'm just going to hold that into place for a moment, <coughs> oh dear, I really have got a rough old, not really a rough throat, just feel like it's, I don't know, dry, <laughs> it's been fine all morning, and then the moment I do my live stream, it starts feeling really dry. Right, I'm just going to hold that there. Can I use a small paintbrush to put glue on? Yeah, that's quite a good idea. I used to use a cocktail stick, especially with that um, <coughs> that Dovecraft Clear Craft Glue. The tube it comes in is quite good, uh, but I did used to have to use a um, a cocktail stick, and that used to work quite well. But for this, it wouldn't work because I need it exactly in the right place. Um, and so, yeah, those nozzles will be better. Just need to have a drink. <clears throat> Losing my voice. Right, let's hold that down a second. I think that's probably stuck. Please be stuck. Please be stuck. Okay. Yep, that's stuck. So there we go. It's not quite essential. It's a bit further over this side. I've just noticed with this, but it does. It will fit in the envelope. It doesn't go past that, so that's good um yeah glue pen i wouldn't find would work because it's acetate onto acetate so i don't think that would work um this the the dovecraft clear graph dovecraft clear craft glue does work sticking acetate to acetate um again anita's tacky glue wouldn't be any good um i obviously couldn't use yuhu because it would warp the acetate and melt it so you're kind of limited, but that craft glue is really good. It sticks anything to anything and it sticks it really well. So <coughs> glue dots would have worked. The only problem with glue dots is that trying to position them just, just behind the P and the H would have been a struggle. If I'd done the whole area, you would have seen the glue dots in between the letters. So that's the only thing with that. Um, but yeah, we got them in the end anyway. So it works. It's quite nice. So I was going to, I was thinking about like getting some of these and having them on the side, but I'm not going to bother because actually I think it's fine as it is. 
so yeah so that's the card for today so that's the birthday one that's the christmas one um and obviously as i said it folds flat into an envelope for a six by six i think i prefer this one uh, measurement wise because this one i said i was going to do this at the top and the bottom and then decided that actually that's not going to work so i think it's better having it a bit smaller top and bottom um but the same and uh yeah and so there you go so that's uh that's my card for today the framed half hexagonal pop-up box card so please like and subscribe leave your comment down below after the video has gone up um hit the notification bell and then you're not going to miss another um video and uh yeah let's <coughs> read some comments <clears throat> thank you thank you thank you everybody um hi sandra from prince george in canada wow okay cool um yeah, it's, I just really like this card. I think it's um, it's a nice shape. I have another idea for another one, so <laughs> stay tuned for that. <clears throat> I don't know whether it's going to work or not, but we might have a go. Um, but yeah, these hexagons seem to be in at the moment. So yeah, so there we go, people. Thank you very much. Um, if you want to support the channel, please do. It helps me out. You can now make a PayPal payment by clicking on... Um, the channel header or about if you click on about there's a little buy me a coffee thing and you click on that and it takes you through to paypal and you can pay via paypal whatever you want to give that would be great but it helps me out massively um yeah it really does help me out um yes please like and share as well fantastic and also obviously um make sure you use all the discount codes when i you know share things i've ordered some more coca rosa studio die, um studio dies this is actually a Coca Rosa Studio die. I've ordered some more and I'm waiting for them to come. So when they come, there'll be a new code out for that. But up until now, up until then, just use the iced 15 if you want to um, buy anything from cocorosastudio.com. Uh, the dies come quite quickly. I think I ordered this last order, I think I did it last week. Not sure when, I can't remember what day it was. Um, but they usually take about, for me in England anyway, they take about one to two weeks. Um, it's not too bad. But they're really, really good. So, yeah, please do that. Because that also helps me out as well. <coughs> Dear, I've got something in my throat. Um, but, yeah, so that's the original. So these are all the, these are all Antonio makes his um, papers. Oh, the other thing I was going to say was I get asked a lot about what printer I use. So for um, Antonio makes, I use an HP 150 NW. And I will try and remember to add it into the description below in the products used because I keep forgetting to put it on. Um, so I'll try and put a link in there for you. Um, and I use at the moment, I'm using Navigator paper, which I got from Tesco supermarket um, and it's 80 GSM. But again, if I can find that online, then I'll link that below as well. But yeah, right. I'm going to run off and get on because I need to shoot some more videos because next Tuesday and the Tuesday after and the Tuesday after, so the next three Tuesdays, I won't be going live. I'll be uploading an edited live stream instead. Okay, so just so you are aware, um, if you see the video come up, it's an edited live stream, one that's been up previously, um, because I'm away next week, and then the week, two weeks after that is school half-term holidays. So I will not be live streaming for three weeks. Three long weeks. Um, but I will obviously still be uploading videos as normal, but just so you know, in case you're like, where is she? What's going on? That's what's going on. Um, so yeah, so please bear that in mind. Um, if you have any suggestions of anything you want to want me to have a go at, please, um, you know, leave a comment. Let me know. Can't guarantee I'll do it. I will try my best. Um, I had a, uh, request for a 5x7 version of the cheats version of the shutter card, triple panel shutter card. So I'm going to be trying to do that at some point soon. Um, but yeah, if you've got any other you know, suggestions you want me to do, I will have a go. And I'm also going to be doing my other hexagonal pop-up box card that I did years ago. I'm going to be redoing that. So I'll be redoing some of my old videos as well uh, because the quality on those old ones are shocking. So yeah um yes pat i'll miss you guys too but as i say it's only for three weeks and i will be still be checking comments it's just that i'm gonna be as i said in london uh next week um and then the two weeks after that is school holidays so 
trying to do any kind of uh, live stream is just not going to happen. <laughs> it's just not going to happen unless you want multiple um, multiple uh, interruptions, <coughs> which I don't really want to do that because I can't concentrate. So yeah, if anything changes, if I am able to do a live stream when my son is on holiday, because maybe he's at a friend's house, I will let you know. And that's another reason why you need to hit the notification bell, because then you will get notified. If I am going to do a live stream, it will come up. OK, so just make sure you hit that notification and, and turn on all notifications as well. Right. I'm going to people off and I shall let you all go. Hope you all have a nice rest of the day or evening or morning or whatever time zone you're in. Hope you'll have a good time and I will see you in three weeks time, if not before. But um, I will be still checking my comments and replying. So, you know, please go ahead. Um, I will let you know about memberships because I'm not quite sure how that all works. I have done them, but for some reason I can't find them. Don't know why. Uh, but yeah. But anyway, hope you all have a good um, rest of the day. And I'll see you all, um, yeah, in three weeks. So bye, everybody. It's going to take you off so I get a bit, you get a close up, you get to have a close up look. Right. So yeah, bye, everybody. And I will see you in three weeks' time. Bye.